recorded live from Atlanta, Georgia. Live from Las Vegas. And live from Southern California. There you go. It's the Keto Show with Tom and Mike, and we have a special guest here today. We have Alan from Alan's Awesome Keto World. Yes, we do. Welcome, yes, Alan. We do. Thank you for coming on. Well, thank you for having me. I really, really, truly really appreciate it. Uh, well, we, we've all been in the circle, okay? <laughs> Basically got, yeah. you know, got together with everything. Yeah. And uh, yep. I tell you what, great community. Really is a great yeah. community, great bunch of people. And uh, yeah. I, I know you. I know your, your journey uh, has deep ties into, into getting healthy and stuff like that. So, yeah, go ahead. So, so my journey started back, I guess in 2017, um, towards, you know, I had gone to the doctors a few times and, and the doctor kept telling me, you know, how you know, you're obese, you're overweight, your BMI is way too high. Your sugar is getting up close. And then when I went in October for my physical in October, he had kind of told me that, uh, probably the next visit that I was going to have to start taking diabetic medicine, um, type two diabetes and, uh, he was the one that suggested that maybe you should start thinking about maybe doing keto. Um, uh -huh. it's a good way to lose weight, get into shape. Um, uh, my doctor's kind of a CrossFit kind of a nut that, that plays a lot of soccer, works out a lot. Um, um, so he's, he's actually pretty good. And he, he said, go, go check it all out. Just do your research and, uh, and, and give it a shot, you know, um, he had kind of talked to me about the Mediterranean diet too. And I kind of said, well, I don't know whether I could do that. I could do it for a while, but probably not stick to it. And he said, well, then maybe keto would be better for you. So try to check that all out. So I did, I, I checked it out. I was about 240 pounds or so. Um, and he was more worried about losing the weight because you lose the weight and then the, the other stuff, I guess, will come later. Right. Um, right. So it did. It took me about six months. I dropped down to about 190 pounds. I had gone back to him. I'll go back every six months. Um, and he was thrilled. Um, and uh, it told me that, you know, how great I was doing and and all that good stuff. And uh, and just keep doing it and, and, you know, keep watching what I was eating and. You know, had asked me a ton of questions about it. Um, then, of course, you know, scheduling for six months after that for the next physical, doing blood work and all that good stuff. Um, my sugar was gone. My blood blood sugar was normal. Um, amazing. That's amazing. And uh, it That's was just, wonderful. and he just kind of gave me a great uh, patient sticker or whatever you want to call it, like a little kid, you know. <laughs> 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 but, but it was kind of cool. So, you know, he, he was really, really happy with me and really thrilled about it. Um, and about, I, I said, and then I think I went to him in 2021 and he goes to me, yeah, you've been really maintaining that 190 really, really well. How about dropping another 10 pounds? So, um, so I did do that. I dropped another 10 pounds. Actually that summer I did that protein sparing modifying fasting. So yeah. I was doing it on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays and it actually worked great. And I dropped it those last 10 pounds came off tough, but they, they dropped like, you know, one right after another, every week I was, I was losing doing that. So it, it really worked great. Um, so I got down to that 180 mark that he wanted me to. And, so when, uh, you, when you first started keto, what, how, what was your approach to it? How did you do it? What was the way that you did it? Um, for me, when I first started keto was trying to really keep it basic and simple. So it was trying to, First, I wasn't, I was eating a lot of just the whole foods, right? So it was a meat and a vegetable um, and then a couple of things here and there, but it was mostly meats and vegetables. And I've kind of, kind of gone back to that, right? Um, yeah. And uh, really keeping it simple. I was doing 20 net carbs is the way I was tracking it. I wasn't doing total carbs. Elab elaborate oh. a little bit on that. Uh, yes. uh, Alan, if you, yeah. If you would, get your take All right, on so it. So when you're doing net carbs, right? So you take the total carbs and you minus the fiber and the sugar alcohols out of it. So if it's 20 total carbs and there's 10 grams of fiber in it, you minus the 10 grams. And then if there's five grams of sugar alcohols in it, you minus the five out of that. So it would be five net carbs instead of 20 total carbs. So it's just a little different way of thinking. And it worked for me. Um, I, think, I think most folks when they start out, you can kind of get away with some of that stuff. I think as your body's getting used to it, because basically you're really cutting out sugar, right? I mean, right. that's, that's it. bottom line yeah. is you're really cutting right. the sugar out. 
Um, so right. as you're cutting the sugar out, your body starts adjusting, starts losing weight. Um, and, and then you start losing weight. But I think at, a, at some point in time during the journey, it kind of starts to stall out. Um, See, that's, I, that's, a, that's a big problem. And you know, everybody that you talk to has the problem. That's when they fail. They think they're failing. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. To, to yeah. try and to get over that, that hump. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And for me, that's when I had to kind of switch gears and go towards the total carbs because that worked better for me. It also, I think it, health wise, um, it eliminates a lot of the bad oils that you're eating and a lot of the garbage um, fibers that they're putting in the foods and uh, right. some of the sugar alcohols, limits of sugar alcohols that you're having that, that causes problems for your gut and everything else. And um, so it really helped a lot. Um, I think taking that next step in getting healthy, right? So the first was to lose the weight, and then the next one was to heal yourself and get healthy, right? Um, um, so that was kind of the next evolution for me. Uh, and that's kind so of you where you started I'm out with neck, neck carbs, then you started out doing neck carbs, and then I started out doing neck carbs. And it was probably a year and a half or two years into it when I started really switching over and start doing total okay. carbs, right? Um, Just because of the stall part of it. Just because of the stall part, you kind of, you, you know, see, you kind of, see. and you start, actually, you'll start because, hate to say it, but now there's like tons and tons of keto snacks that are really oh, yeah. low carbs, yeah. low net carbs, but when you eat them, right. you actually start putting the weight back on. Um, see, see, that, right. and that's the realm, that's the wheelhouse I'm in, so, okay? I, I started out total carbs from the beginning, okay? Yeah. And I dropped weight in the beginning. Um, and the, the purpose was not to really lose the weight, but to get my get off the medications. Okay? Yeah. But I hit a stall doing total carbs. Your body yeah. hits that hits that one level. You know what I mean? Did did you get discouraged at all, Alan, with it? Or you know, um, they said, ah, the hell with this, I'm not gonna do it no more. No, I, I don't think it was discouraging. It was just kind of um I, don't know, I think it was just a natural transition into trying to get healthier. Yeah. Um, you know, you do more and more research yeah. and you start reading more and more labels and you kind of start watching other folks that are talking about health and, you know, what's good and what's bad and, and different folks and um, start doing your own research and you kind of naturally start thinking about, well, is this really what I want? And do I really want to be eating all those protein bars and, so I want to really be eating those tortilla it's, chips. It's expensive and, too. Uh, right. Yeah. And they're big money. Yeah. I actually like cooking. So yeah. <laughs> I think my wife and I do well together in the kitchen. Um, we like to play around with it. <clears throat> she doesn't like to be on camera. So you don't see any of that stuff on camera. I wish she would come hey. out. Yeah. We have a lot you, of fun. You're here. playing in his wheelhouse there. You're <laughs> playing in his wheelhouse. Right there. <laughs> yeah. You know what? It, it come natural because I did it for a living. But I mean, yeah. and, but here, and here's the other thing. OK, and I'm glad that you're doing it. Alan. I'm glad that he's doing it over there, too, is because yeah. <clears throat> people get discouraged because they don't cook. Yeah. People yeah. don't sometimes yeah. don't know how to cook and stuff like that. So if we if we get a little bit more into our channels about what, how to do it, I think it, it's beneficial for a lot yeah. of people who don't cook. You know what I mean? Because yeah. they'll go to that box. Right. Stuff, they'll go to that other other stuff like that. So, yeah. I think it's it, right. you know they think oh, yeah. I, I don't think, have time I don't have time and then yeah. but you got you do have time it, it, it you, you don't have to yeah. complicate the meal you can make it simple I mean yeah. just chop up a few well, vegetables and you yeah. know you're good to go yeah even uh um uh even like because I, I I'm gonna be honest with you I, I I eat keto snacks every once in a while not all the time but every once in a while probably sometimes more right. than than I want to but <laughs> if I'm cooking it I do too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I can cook it, I can control what's going into it, and I can actually do a better job controlling the yep. carbs versus buying something right. off a shelf. So yeah, right. I, I totally, totally agree with you. Totally, totally agree. I hundred percent agree. Yeah. Alan, I had, I, I had four grapes. Okay, threw me yeah. four, <laughs> threw yeah. me into a tizzy like you never seen before. Yeah. And then with the sugar, yeah. I mean, for almost a week, I, it took me a while to get back my sugar levels back down again. That's how yeah. how far off it, it it wrecked me there, but yeah, but that's me, you know. Yeah, you know, you start getting into See, like no, eating I, the Quest protein bars, the Quest cookies, and that kind of stuff, and it yeah, it starts to, 
it mounts up. To add up it? Hey, hey, like I say, junk food's junk food. It doesn't matter if it's keto or not. Yeah. It's still junk food. Yeah, it's still junk food. But, you know, if, if I'm cooking, like I have brownies, I can cook brownies and I can do them five total carbs. But if I buy the keto brownies off the shelf right. and make them, they're 20 net carbs, 20 total carbs. Yeah. They're, exactly. they're banking off the net exactly. carbs. The, the, so, the, the, right. the, stable, the stabilized products that they put into it. Okay. I mean, right. the jury's still out on all that stuff, too, because, yeah. I mean, it's tested, it's approved by the FDA, but they don't know what the results is of it, yeah. how it wrecks your gut and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? So I, I I know from watching your channel and stuff like that. Then you got into walking. Okay, yeah, I, I do. Your... I had done some. Ex I mean, I used to exercise quite a bit when I was younger. Um, you know, back in high school, all the way through. But I'd kind of been. I'd been a big kid, right? Um, you know, I was one of those. Hey, no, he's not fat. He's big bone. You know, right? So. Uh, <laughs> You you, you, you you shopped in the husky you shopped in the husky aisle like I did. Yeah, yeah. So that was most of my life. But you know, I did I did do some sports in high school and uh you know I, I did exercise. So I kind of lost the weight and I'd gain it back. I lost the weight and I'd gain it back. Yeah. Um there was no you know, it was it was all over the place. So um so yeah, I don't know. It's so at this point in time, you know, at my age, I'm in my sixties, in my mid sixties now, right? Or close to it now so um and and uh just i want to be healthy as i go into it so now it's two years into it starting to exercise a lot more uh, i would probably say even a year into it starting to exercise a lot more i try to walk every day um i was going to the gym every day up until um the pandemic hits um and then you know then kind of figuring out ways to work out at home and stuff to do at home. Mm -hmm. um, so I try to do that every couple of times a week. Um, you know, one of the big things for, especially as you get older is your balance and uh, flexibility, right? That really starts to get affected. And so as you get older, yeah. yeah. So I went, to, older, I went right? to the doctor yesterday and, and the doctor said to me, I always got to be joking around because, you know, I can't take them serious anymore because they were wrong about a lot of stuff. OK, yeah. now, there again, you know, just yeah. just the way they're not taught how to have nutrition or anything like that. But the doctor said, do you fall down? No. He said, but if you fall down, what happens? I said, I hurt myself. Yeah. You know? yeah. and, I and, and I get up. Get up, up again and go. But yeah. I mean, he this guy's stunned that my numbers are, are, are all dropped and stuff like that. But he asked me, "Do you exercise?" I said, yeah. "Not, not nearly enough as what I should be doing." So, yeah. my my next question to you is: When you get done with your workout, how do you feel? <laughs> I feel great. So, um, it's. I don't know how to describe it, but it's kind of like um, it's a euphoria, right? So you just kind of you feel great. I hate working out. I, you know, to me, my biggest problem is getting in to do the workout. Once I'm there and I'm doing it, it just feels amazing. So when you come out and you feel so good, um, you know, you, you you know, just it's kind of like a new high. So um, when yeah. you get done, for me anyway, mm -hmm. um, now I don't work out heavy anymore. I don't work out like a crazy man. I'm not there to build muscle. Well, I guess kind of, I'm more there to try to, to keep the muscle I have. Um, to try to burn some of the, the fat off of me to, to make me a little bit leaner. Um, yep. and that kind of stuff. I, you know, again, it, it's, you know, at my age, I just want to be healthy. Um, my mother had type two diabetes and I know what she went through as she was older. Um, I have a brother that has it. Um, uh, you know, and I have other family members that have it. And just to kind of see the the struggles that they go through and the, the problems that my mother, I don't want to do that. I want to go into my retirement um, fairly healthy and enjoying myself for, for quite a while, right? As much right. as I can. So I'm going to do now, anything and everything I can. Now you, all right. Now, Tom, Marie and Tom, they both do keto. And Paige yeah. and I, we both do the keto. But yeah. Your wife doesn't do the keto, right? No, my wife does not do keto. So, but uh, she is pretty supportive. So, like today, she made we had longanisa this morning, um, which mm -hmm. is a uh, Filipino sausage, uh, mm -hmm. skinless sausage. Um, but she made it keto. Keto. She she took out all the bad ingredients in it, 
and she made it so it was keto, right? Okay. Um, you know, so she took yeah. out the, the soy and some of the other stuff that they put in it. And, Did you grind um, it up yourself and everything else? Yeah. Yeah. So, so I tell you, there's nothing better. Made nothing so, better than that fresh. <laughs> yeah. So she does that. And, and then she'll, like, she made a bunch of it and then she'll freeze a bunch of it. And then she'll pull like four out, four or six out. And then she'll cook them this morning with some eggs. And we have the uh, protein spare modifying bread that we have with the eggs. And, um, you know, and just, it's just kind of, uh, fit into it so she does a lot of that stuff so um ponset when she makes ponset which is a filipino noodle dish that they usually have at all those celebrations birthdays anniversaries holidays right which is really really good but she'll make it and it's basically just like cabbage and some other stuff put in it but then they put noodles in it so instead of what she'll do is she'll mix it all up and make it all and then she'll take some of it and set it aside put the noodles in the part she wants and then she'll either put something like shirataki noodles in it or hearts of palm in it or something for me. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> okay. Okay. See, that's, that was the thing. So it, this shows you folks, you can, you can adapt yeah. the keto yeah. diet to fit into having a, a spouse or a significant other uh, yeah. that's not doing it. You know, it, it can be done and you don't have to cook two sets of meal. You just, there's certain ingredients that you just, yeah. Add later, you just, and it makes it keto. Marie, Marie, yeah. Marie didn't have to be on. Have to do it. There's nothing wrong with Marie. Marie don't take a pill. Yeah. Okay. In fact, I got to force her to take her, her multivitamins and stuff. Okay. <laughs> but she she actually lost 51 pounds. Wow. On keto, and the doctor yeah. said, "We'll see you next year." I mean, it's like uh, she really did well with it. Really, really did good, yeah. and and feels good. I mean. Summertime's coming, so we go up to the pool a lot, and she swims every day, every day, yeah. sometimes twice a day. That's important. Yeah. The exercise part of it is important. But like Alan yeah. said, don't kill yourself. It, this is not yeah. hard. I mean, right. this is living. It's a lifestyle. You change, yeah. you know, you change yeah. how you operate your, your system, <laughs> basically. Yeah. Now, walking, I average about four miles a day, but I don't do it all at once. You know, I, I go for a 20-minute walk after I eat. helps me digest my food. gets me moving a little bit. Um, then I'll do it again in the evening. Um, you know, so it's, I watched one of you, I watched one of your videos and I'm watching you were walking. Marie says, what are you doing? It's me and Alan are walking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that, and you have a, you have a place where you go walk where there's strawberry fields right there where you walk. Yeah. Right? So, so where, where I live is what they call the Oxnard Plains, right? So the yeah. Oxnard Plains are, um, it's a big fertile area right next to the ocean. We have the Santa Monica Mountains south of us, which is Malibu and, and down that way, Santa Monica. And north of us is the Ventura Mountains. So it's Santa Barbara and that area up north of us. So we're in a valley right next to the ocean. So we get kind of a, we stay cool all summer and we stay warm all winter. Most of the time, this year has been a really, really weird year. Um, mm. And, uh, and they, so they, because, so it's perfect climate for berries, right? So they blackberries, raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, you know, it's kind of the perfect kind of mix. And um, so they're down there harvesting them now. Um, and Driscoll strawberries is really huge in the area. So, um, you know, so that's what they're known for here. So they're known for their, their strawberries. Now, Alan, okay. well, and, and on, in doing keto, what is your go-to food? What's your comfort food on doing keto? Yes. Yeah. Type, my comfort know. food yeah like what um, do you well, you know what you you know you go to i mean i'll do a steak and stuff like that or, or make burgers yeah. or whatever uh, you know your favorite meal easy. the one that you say oh i love this and i love making it and love eating it type of thing i think my favorite thing is taking a good ribeye steak and just actually throwing it on the grill and cooking it up that's probably yeah. that and the asparagus that. with it and me and i'm like i'm in seventh heaven so yeah um now you're, you know, you're could, still working right yeah, I'm still working. One more year, maybe, maybe a year and a half. Okay. <laughs> we're we're, we're kind of yeah, trying to decide. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of trying to decide that um, now. So, like I said, we, we're 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 going to stay here. Are we going to go somewhere else? And when that happens, and so yeah. we're kind of going through that now. <laughs> so hey, I don't know how you're well, coming. California, the cost of living is too high for me. Yeah, you know, we, we, to be honest with you, we went, to, and I know you'll probably get some a rash of crap, but we went to Florida um, in uh, February to kind of look around, kind of mm -hmm. 
check things out, um, look at home prices. And I'm going to be honest, Florida is almost as expensive as California was. The house prices are way up. The property taxes are almost the same as they are here. Um, I guess the only difference really is they don't have a state income tax. Um, yeah. Which right. is, you're retired, it's not going to be, that's not going to be a killer one way or another because you're not going to pay on social security anyways, right? Yeah, but but the but the, the downside is every, everything else is up. So they don't yeah, have a state right. income tax, so they have you know, yeah. the gas tax and everything else. We, we left there. We were there six and a half years in Florida. And, yeah. So, uh, they, I mean, like I said, we're a year, year and a half away, so we're... We're actually going to make a trip over to South Carolina and kind of look around in some areas in South Carolina. We're actually going to go to Georgia, maybe mm-hmm. look in the Savannah area, up in that area. And a little bit. Oh, Savannah's beautiful. Yeah, it is. That's so, a beautiful place. They're Actually, they work out to be because their property taxes are much cheaper and everything else. I know we're kind of getting off the keto top. But, no, no, no. No, <laughs> but, no, but, but it, property like, it goes taxes, into what's doing it. Yeah. You know, it goes into you surviving gotta, on it because, you know, everybody says it's so expensive. So you try to... You know, you try to find things that were Adjusted. places where you can live, right? Yeah. And 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 the relevancy of what we're talking about here is because once you do retire, okay, yeah, what do you do with yourself? You understand? Yeah. So, all right, then it comes into, hmm, I get, I'm going to get lazy, so I'm going to make something to eat. Well, I I can skip yeah. that today. So it, it's yeah. it's almost like going retiring, but still being full time trying to take care of what's going on. At yeah. least at work, you have your mind doing yeah. something else. So, yeah, yeah I mean, it, 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 I, sometimes Marie looks at me and she says, are you making a video today? I said, what, do you want me to cook? I mean, is that the top, you know, the bottom line? You know? <laughs> so, yeah. uh, we get our timing squared away to where we, I just eat one time a day. You know, but I have an yeah. open window. You know, I'll, I'll go from like uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and I cut it off at 7. Yeah. So if I, if if we have like if we have a steak and, and and stuff, and then later on I might have some cheese chips and stuff, and then I'm done. You know. Yeah. So being retired now, the whole idea is planning. What are we gonna, what are we going to eat? You know, yeah. how are we going to make it and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. be be yeah. be aware. I, I mean, <laughs> yeah. And I'm kind of more of a. I guess I'm I'm kind of more of an eater, so I can't. You know, the one meal a day. I don't know. I, I don't know whether I could do that. I could do it for a short period of time, but I don't think I can make it a lifestyle um, yeah. for me. I like that. Like this, on the weekends, we get up and we don't, we have, we actually ate a little bit early today because of this. Um, so usually we would get up and we would have uh, breakfast around 10 or 11 o'clock. And then we wouldn't eat again until it was dinner time, you know. So more, mm-hmm. more tea, food meals a day. Um and again, even when I go to work, you'll see I have a cup of coffee in the morning. Now I put a lot of crap in my coffee, so it's so it's pretty filling. Okay. And that's my breakfast, and then lunch, and then dinner when I get home. Sometimes I'll eat a snack, so um, which I gotta try to <laughs> to cut back. I eat too many pecans and pecans. Pecans, yeah, pecan, pecan. Uh, what's the sound the same? Pecans, way? yeah, 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 and so, and. The, like the serious side of it is I eat when I'm hungry. Okay. Yeah. And, and the main, the main stay for me with this was I never knew when I was hungry because I was always grazing, always, always eating something. So mm-hmm. that yeah. uh, satiating part of it, I never had until I didn't plan. I'm watching these guys doing OMAD and all this stuff. Like that. I never really seriously set my mind to do that. Okay. Yeah. I just made my mindset to where I am. not. Are you really, hungry yeah okay right and, right. and if i'm not are you bored or are you hungry ex- exactly yeah. and that's how i slipped into that that part of it and i tell you what I, it, it was pretty good uh, yeah so to me some of these folks to me it's there's a short-term goal i guess but is it teaching your body the wrong things or is it teaching you more bad behavior so if you have an eating disorder it kind yeah. of um, kind of replicating that or uh, I would say yes. emphasizing that, Hey, yeah. you know, maybe you should be doing this and it's not really necessarily what you should be doing. It is really, I mean, if it's a lifestyle and you can do it, then that's great. But if it's a short time goal, um, yeah. uh, you know, is it really teaching you how to maintain the rest of your I life? Tell, and, and, yeah. I, I used to tell folks, I got an eating disorder. I shove everything in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
seafood diet, right? You see food, yeah, you see, eat, it, right? eat it. Yeah, seafood, eat, yeah. eat food. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not perfect. I'm so, far, far from perfect. That's for sure. So I'll have yeah. my uh, fair share of when we go out, maybe have a drink or something like that. Or uh, um, oh know, yeah, you know, nobody. It's. I tell people you don't have to be on keto 100 percent of the time. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can adapt according to the situation. I highly recommend that you, when you first start, that you stay strict for a few months so you can get yeah. yourself in a groove. Yeah, I would say same you know, thing. <clears throat> I, so I, that, I, I watched. Otherwise, you're gonna be fighting it uphill. Yeah, I watched people switch, and I did. I did for for a while when we were in Florida. I did uh, uh, carnivore for a while and stuff. I don't know how to do it today because of the price, meat prices and stuff. Oh but, yeah, man. But what I did was I was heavy with the meat and backed off some of the vegetables a little bit. Playing, like I always say, playing with my food because yeah. I wanted to see exactly if the fiber was the key, you know, from the, from the vegetables, all green vegetables yeah. and stuff like that. And I got to be honest with you, I, I I like to eat my vegetables, so yeah, uh, I Thank wasn't I, I wasn't that uh, keen on doing strict carnivore. Okay, so I yeah. went I, I went back to it again, and a couple times a week I will we'll throw some chicken in, a little bit more protein rather than with the fat. And I'm balancing my fats. People have the wrong idea. Alan, you know yourself. Bacon, yes. butter. You know. yeah. that's, that's that's not it. There's got to be a balance. There's got to yeah. be a balance. Yeah, it's a good idea. yeah, I would agree. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and again, so, I, I, you, I do track my macros. So not all the time, but I do just because, especially when I start putting on weight, and I weigh myself once a week, and I just do that because I, if I weighed myself every day, I would drive myself crazy. I would just be so obsessed that it would, you know, my life would be living hell and it would probably make my wife's life a, life a living hell. And so if I do it once a week, it's just kind of a gauge and it's going to depend on what I ate the night before, what I've had this week. And, you know, so you, you got to take it with a grain of salt, but it's just kind of a gauge. So if I'm gaining weight two or three yeah. weeks in a row, I know that I kind of got to look at what I'm eating. Is, do I have that carb creep back in there? Is stuff yeah. starting to come back <laughs> right. in? And then I'll start tracking a little bit just yeah. to kind of understand my snacking too much. Uh, to yeah. the line. You know, and, and, right. and the time of the day also has a lot to do with it also. Yeah. You know. Probably does. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we've been, we've been trying See, to I'm the opposite. I, I, I'm the opposite. I weigh every day. Really? Yeah. I weigh because I'm obsessive. <laughs> I, I have, I'm so obsessive with things. It is unbelievable. And I, I, have to know uh, you know because i it, it helps to keep me honest for the yeah. same reason what you say you know it creeps up you know i can you know i'll i'll weigh and i'll say uh yeah you you need to back off you know because if i yeah. see it I, I see it creeping i say all right back off before it starts doing something it ain't supposed to do mm -hmm. so i that's my approach to it but you know I'm like I say, if 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 weighing once a week, once a month works, you do it. If it's weighing every day, like me, do it. You know, whatever works yeah. for you. Yeah. You know, there's no set really thing depends. for that. Yeah, it's really a personal thing, and it's really like I say, for me, I would get really obsessive of it, and it would drive me crazy. I have many other things in my life that drive me crazy. I don't need <laughs> to worry about my See, that's, yeah, that's, I'm obsessive too, uh, but it, if I don't weigh, it drives me crazy because I'm wondering, have I, have I done too much? Yeah. Have I done too much today? And this is how I can know whether or not I'm, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm, sure. it makes my, my mind at ease. It yeah. puts my mind at ease. Stress has a lot to do with it also. I mean, Alan, I know me and you talked about it and, and with Mike about sleep. Yeah. Um, oh, not yeah. getting enough sleep or not yeah. thinking that we get enough sleep. And yeah. uh, stressing about not getting enough sleep is a ton, a yeah. ton of stress on your system. Oh, man. Yeah. And, and it works it works with your gut. I mean, horrible. Yeah. Um, yep. And I can, I can see a lot of people that stress about, like Mike, weighing himself, gaining a couple pounds here. And, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Me, I tend to, I tend to blow it off. The sleep is is a main thing for me. That's, uh, I mean, I did magnesium. I do all that stuff. I, I try yeah. butter at night and, and chamomile you know, tea, or some kind of tea or, or herbal tea. Yeah. And I, I, I just, I'm. That's my body now. I guess I only get four hours sleep, and that's it. 
Yeah. Actually, somebody told me about taking the magnesium about an hour or so before you go to bed. So I started doing it a couple of weeks ago. And it actually, I think it's actually been, actually helped a little bit. That's, that's what I do. And I also take okay. melatonin, not every day, but I take melatonin at yeah. night. But that, your body that. gets used to taking that stuff. But the magnesium, yeah. magnesium is a definite yes. You definitely have oh, to take yes. glyconite, yes. but not, nothing else. Yeah. If you don't no. take just the glyconate, every, everything else, you, there'll be a toilet paper shortage, believe me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Else. But now, now, so you started out with traditional keto, and then you switched to doing the uh, the protein sparing modified fast. Yeah, I just did that for a summer. Just, you know, it was kind of, I was in a stall. The doctor had kind of told me at the time to lose that extra 10 pounds. Um, and I was really struggling with it, to be honest with you. Um, I was maintaining fine. I was staying at that 190 plus or minus a couple of pounds. Um, but I was staying there. And so I really struggled with it. So I had kind of said, well, you know, and it was kind of at the time, it's kind of like carnivores right now um, where it's all over the right. place. Um, so at that time in 2021, everybody was talking about Marie Emmerich and her protein sparing modifying fast and mm-hmm. all that stuff. Yep. So I said, well, you know, and some of the other channels I watched, um, Janet Greta, and there was a couple of others. Anita from the ketogenic woman was doing it, and right, there were some others right. that were doing it. So, so I said, well, you know, I'm going to give it a shot um, and try it. And after about the second week, it was like I was losing a half pound, a pound, almost a week. And it was pretty consistent. Um, there was one time where it, we went to Hawaii for a vacation for a week, um, and I gained like 10 pounds. <laughs> but when I came back, within two weeks, that was all gone. Well, but, hey, there you go. Um, so it really worked well. So I got down to that 180, a little below 180. Um, and that was really what I wanted to do before we went to Hawaii. And, you know, I was, I was going to be walking around on the beach with my shirt off and stuff. So I kind of self-consciously wanted to feel good about myself. And, you know. Now, folks, if you, ha- if you hadn't checked out Alan's channel, when he when he does his macros, he he does these graphs. And it'll show like his weight loss. And you, with when he was doing the the protein sparing modified fast, you could see where he started at, and you could see the steady decline in weight. And that was that right there was a selling point and a half. Yeah, with yeah. the way you did yeah. that, that was wonderful. Yeah, it was. It was, it was again, but then again, it's it's a short term uh, thing for for that gain and. Then you got to figure out when you get at the end, how am I going to maintain that and not gain any of it back, right? Um, right, because right, you so, still do the bread. You still eat the bread, don't I you? I still, I, you know, the, the bread, there were some things that came out of it that I still do. Um, and the bread is probably one, because we make bread, we make rolls, we do all kinds of stuff with the, uh, the right. egg whites, right? It really is. just It's just egg whites, so it's virtually, I'm not going to say zero carbs, but it's pretty low carb. Um and right. you know it's total carbs it's not a, you know you go to the store and you get a piece of bread today and it's keto i gotta say the one oh, that yeah. you had there a couple of weeks ago mike mm-hmm. that or last week it was it was pretty pretty close the almond flour and all that stuff but right. um, it's just this is right. just egg whites um and i know if you really right. wanted to keep it clean you wouldn't put the nutritional yeast in it and um some other stuff um i know i've taken like the allulose they put two tea, two tablespoons of allulose in it and we've cut that way down to like a teaspoon because of the fact that browns a bread and it almost browns a bread too much, is mm-hmm. my opinion. But I, I mean, I, it, it really I, now, tastes good. My wife likes it. She eats it. Um, we probably go through a loaf or two of that every week. We can, like I said, we can make rolls out of it. We can make hot dog rolls out mm-hmm. of it. And all kinds of good stuff out of it. And virtually it's a half a carb, a slice, total carb, a slice. Um, so how can you go wrong, you know? Um, I I I yeah. turned around between me and Mike between the three of us actually, we we boosted egg life wraps up quite a bit. Okay. Yeah. And, nah. and I got a yeah. I got a two I got a two dollar coupon for it. I was going to split it with Mike. Okay. But I mean that's ne- that's neither here nor there. But you're you're. Yeah, but then they up the price of it too. <laughs> yeah. I mean we got close yeah. to three hundred thousand views between all of us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, with them, and they, they don't budge. I mean, that's almost a joke. But anyway, no. that's that's another show. No. But I watched your video, Alan, when, when you did um, uh, what's her name um, from Canada. We just mentioned her name. 
her um, and, you, and, 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 and Anita, Anita. Anita. she made she yeah. made that well what i did was i took it to another level okay you know when you're on a seek and destroy mission you're looking to get something <laughs> i yeah. i went out and specifically bought a pan a non-stick pan okay yeah and now what i do is i make make that that blend up and i but i add a little bit more pork rinds to it yeah but i have this non-stick pan and i put it in into the oven and let it take it out and let it cool and it pulls right up really nice so i got nice. a lasagna coming up okay oh. that, that we did with this yeah. and i'm gonna tell you something that is the closest thing to pasta that i've had yeah that, that i've made so you can cut yeah. it up different ways. In fact, right now I'm looking for a pasta maker, but I'm going to cut them into strips and just use the pasta maker for the cutter to cut them yeah, a little okay. bit more evenly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I tell you what, Marie, Marie, now Marie's full blood Italian. She looked at me. She said, this is good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, you, take, you, you have to go to a little extra mile, you know, to get there rather than just mm -hmm. buying the pasta or getting in the car. This this stuff is fantastic. And I, I tell you what, thanks yeah. for putting that up. You really do. Yeah, yeah. That, again, you got to like the, the lady yeah. who's made the pasta. <laughs> made the fresh yeah. pasta. Yeah. Yeah. So no, I I don't know. I I kind of yeah, like I that stuff. Get that recipe. Yeah, again, I, I probably will continue to use because I get lazy and I don't want to make the egg life wraps myself. Um, yeah, so I'll, should... I'll you know. Well, I, I still I, I got yeah. a better opportunity you know, but, There you go. Um, yeah, um, but you know I. I you, you can make everything. You can make pizza dough out of it. You can make, you know, you can do a lot of stuff. And and the eggs, if you ate the, I think if you eat it by itself, it does, you can taste a little bit of the eggs. Um, but if you're mixing with something, right. whatever, it really, you know, it's, the, the egg taste is so light that it gets, absorbs the other flavor of whatever you're mixing with it. So, yeah, um, yeah. 100%. So, yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, yeah. You know, so it's, gotta, it's again, it's one of yeah, those tools funny, that you figure you know, out. Go ahead, Mike. I was just going to say, well, it's one of those tools that you figure out that so it, it gets rid of that 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 craving or that want, right? It's, Again, yeah, you know. I, I'm I'm with you 100 percent because I mean I come from the restaurant business. Okay, pasta is pasta, no matter how you add it up. Okay, yeah. and, and and it's been a staple, just like right. bread. It's been a staple in our life since we're kids. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I I tell people, yeah. what's the difference if all of a sudden, they found out that pasta is no good. Can't eat it no more. Or there was a shortage of wheat or whatever. Your yeah. alternatives is, you know, what you use, okay? Yeah. And they made that. They made pasta, if you look at the history of it, they made pasta because it was a poor man's stretch for food. Okay? So, yeah. but making something else, everybody, oh, that's not pasta. Well, that's just eggs. Well, yeah, you're right. Well, what's pasta? Eggs. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Eggs. So it's... It's the same yeah. same stretch, I guess. You know. Yeah. Eggs no, I mean, flour. so I, I, mean, I do. I, I like to cook. I, like I, said, I like to watch other people cook and gives me ideas. Mm -hmm. My wife comes up with great ideas. Yeah. So. Um, That's what Mike it's all about. With great ideas. Yeah, all three of us, we're we are we cook. I mean, that's how we do it. Yeah. He's a nut over here. <laughs> got me, got me and my wife half out of out of our minds. But yesterday St. Patrick's Day, so yeah. I made I made a pastrami, but I'm we made he came up with the idea of making rye chaffles. And I, I can tell you what, you if I blindfolded and you told you to bite into that thing, you would swear you were eating rye bread. That's that's how yeah. close it, it tasted. So yeah, that was a that was a big hit. Yeah, with so us. I, I, yeah. It, it, the trouble comes is most people uh, and a it lot was of people, just a shot in the dark. Yeah. A lot of people just don't like to cook, or they don't have time to cook, right? So, or they don't think they have time right. to cook. So, it's trying to find alternatives that are quick and easy, like you would normally do it. So, you know, right? Um, that's why I like the sheet pan stuff. Uh, those recipes for the sheet pans. I mean, literally, ten minutes to make. Throw it in the oven for twenty minutes, and you know, you've got a meal for a couple of days. Um, I mean, and not, not to get too punchy with people or, or you know, wow, oh, well, you should be should cook and this and that. I had one person say to me that uh, I don't have time to cook. I'm too busy. My life is too busy. But I can't talk right now because I'm going to go binge watch Netflix. Yeah. What are you talking about? Go yeah, cook. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it don't make sense to me. But, I mean, that's me. That's just me. Yeah. Alan, what do you see yourself yeah, you know, uh, coming up in the future with, with – uh, uh, and you know, I know you got on your plate with uh, retirement and stuff like that, but I mean, uh, 
Yeah, you gonna do any more live cooking shows and stuff? Maybe we can collab. Uh, I am. So I've been I've been doing some of the guest things. So it's like Jason, just Jason Keto's coming on the channel. Good guy. Um, you know, and then uh, uh, I think Thank on April, guy. trying to plan it out. So on April eighth, I have actually Scott coming back from Platte River Keto coming back. Okay. Uh, Misty's coming on, and Michelle's gonna come on the channel. So it's gonna be the four of us. I gotta figure that out, but. Uh, so right, right now I've gotten commitments from all of them to, to come on the channel, just to have a kind of a group chat. They've all been on the channel once before. I thought it was pretty good. Michelle's down 95 pounds or so. Misty's down 150. Scott's down about 170. Misty, so Misty blew me away. Misty did some job. Boy, I tell you. Oh man, she is. Yeah. She really has. And her yeah. dedication to working out is tremendous. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking along the lines, maybe get into maybe like in May or June, more likely into June and do a yeah. keto keto barbecue live cook. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna see if yeah, I can put everything together and and uh yeah. you know the, the but, four of us. Yeah. Um I, I think I'm right now for this year I'm gonna try to figure out where my channel is going. I'm gonna continue to do the what I eat in a days because they seem to be really popular. I don't know why, but I think I kind of eat a lot of the same stuff all the time. <laughs> but um but people seem to like yeah. them so I'm gonna keep that. Um and then I'm going to try to do, you know, continue to do the cooking and, uh, you know, at least once a week cooking or something related to that cooking, maybe a product review. So now I'm actually getting to have some companies sending me stuff, asking me to review products and stuff, That's cool. um, um, which is pretty cool. I got a toaster oven this week. I got another one coming that's supposed to get delivered today. <laughs> so I'm going to have oh, uh, wow. two of them. Uh, so uh, air fryer toaster ovens. Right. So, um, that's all. That's awesome. Oh. I'm gonna look into that ninja that you have. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, that little ninja thing is something I use. We use that probably three times. We'll use it today. We're gonna to make some. Uh, we got some pork belly that we bought at the Asian market yesterday. Like it, baby. Yeah, we're, 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 we're marinating it up. We marinated it all up, and we're gonna be grilling it on uh, the ninja food grill today. Good stuff. Good good stuff. So, what you know what impresses me a lot about you, Alan, is that. You do in your what I eat in a day video. You're up at five thirty in the morning, and you're yeah. you're videoing, and and as you're getting ready for work, and I'm like, man, I, you know, I would get up early too, but then I had to drive to work, and I, and I'm like, I tried it, I tried it, and I'm like, man, that's this is hard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my hair is all sticking up. My uh, yeah. no, 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 going and getting my makeup on and or anything else like that. Either. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's. Yeah. I, no, I, I thought, I, well, I, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a try, like Alan does. And I and I said, yeah. I did a couple of them, and I'm like, nope, nope, nope. This is too hard. Uh, uh, uh. -uh. Yeah. This is too much like work. I can't do this. So I yeah. backed off of it. That's impressive that you you continually do that. And I'm like, wow, that. How does he do that? I, you know, getting part ready of that to work. Help, and I mean, it really it's, it helps keep me accountable during the day and what I'm doing. And now, like if I'm showing my carbs for the week and stuff, it kind of really helps with that. I mean, you're going to see the days that I have bad days and you're going to see the days I have good days. Right. So, um, you know, yeah. every week there's one or two right. of those bad days. in there. They're, it happens. You know, there's no yeah, week. It happens to the best of yeah. um, That's I mean, so that's that, that, like <clears throat> That has a lot to do with it also because, you know, it, it always can't be rosy. You know what I'm saying? No. So like, like you said, well, I feel, you feel like you're making the same stuff over right. and over again. Right. Well, I, I got to tell you from growing up as a kid and being in the restaurant business. Okay. We did eat the same things every day. Yeah. Every, you know, we had Prince spaghetti day. We <laughs> yeah. had, you know, Monday. And my special day was Thursday with liver. Ooh. You know what I mean? <laughs> that, that kind of thing, no. but so no. so when you're saying that, but there's other no. people who haven't seen your channel and they they like to tune in to watch how you do it, okay, and yeah. why you do it, and go through the whole routine. So um, I had one lady say to me, "Well, you cook the same stuff all the time." That's well, that's what we eat, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. I I, I tend to kind of go in spurts too, where I'll eat the same thing for a while, then I'll then I'll change to something else, and then I'll yeah, that will be the popular thing. And uh, if yeah. I if I find something that I something new that I've made or discovered and I eat it, I may eat it three or four times real, real quick. Like, you know, yeah. in a short period of uh, time. And, 
uh, because it's like, damn, that's good. I want some more of that, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so you, yeah. you did you you think you're going to change any kind of goals or anything like that, or or try to lose more uh, weight or maintain where you're at? Yeah. So no, I am actually trying to this summer. I'm trying to drop down to, uh, to 175 is my weight goal. Um, it's okay. more of a health goal, right? So I want to get a little bit leaner um, for the summer. Um, you know, the weather's not cooperating as far as going outside and getting the walks in, right? So we've been having more wet weather than, than yeah. Than yeah. I've been, the, the ten years I've been in California, this is the wettest that it's ever been for the longest period of time, right? It's just crazy, uh, but yeah. um, uh, <clears throat> but trying to drop down again, uh, trying to figure out my eating a little bit too. Um, and I would say that my eating is probably, I probably eat 80 or 85 percent is meat and then some kind of vegetables and occasionally a snack in, in there somewhere. Um, so, you know, and you, yeah. and you can have things that are what they would call <laughs> keto friendly, but they're going to knock you out of ketosis. And I, I don't know about you mm -hmm. guys, but I can feel when I'm in ketosis <laughs> and when I'm out of ketosis. Um, yeah. I don't need a stick oh, or I anything else. Either. I can really tell. I don't either. Like, yeah, you know, you I'm feel same that way. stimulation in your brain, and and I can feel the yeah. arthritis in my hands and my knees yep. and stuff when I'm yep. um, when I'm out. <clears throat> um, you know, the inflammation coming back. So, so I don't need to test or anything. I kind of can tell pretty quickly, like you said with the grapes, Tom. That you, know, you eat something, and and pretty much that that night or that day, you're gonna you're gonna feel it. So. Um, <laughs> Yeah, the, the, oh yeah, oh yeah. The sad part, the sad part about it is, w once you get into it, you know, our, our goal is to get people to stay with it because it yeah, is, right. it is sustainable. It really is. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and yeah. it's just a little bit of a change. So, I mean, I, I, my my thing, my theory is, kill the cravings. Okay. Yep. Because let me tell you something. I can get lost in that ice cream aisle. Okay. Yeah. You know, with two <laughs> yeah. loaves of bread under my arm and sit there and woohoo. Okay, and then after I get yeah. done eating that, but you got to kill that. I don't have the craving for it, but yeah. damn it, if I want something, I'm going to have it. Okay, yeah. so getting rid of that cravings will do it. Yeah, and well, yeah, no, go ahead. I was just going to say some of that stuff is is I, I keep some of it on hand, so not not that stuff, but some kind of a substitute for it. So if I do get that craving for it, like ice cream, I'm a big ice cream person. I grew up eating ice cream. I think we ate ice cream every night in my house. When I grew <laughs> up. Uh, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah. And yeah, we'd watch TV and have a bowl of ice cream. Then we'd yeah. have some potato chips with some cheese or something. I don't know. I can't <laughs> yeah. listen to this no more. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just the way you yeah. grew up. Right. So, yeah. You know. And and my wife's again, she's she's not a keto person, so she'd still like to have a bowl every once in a while. She's not a big ice cream person, maybe once every couple of weeks or something. So I will keep some of that on hand and I will like I'll make the keto chow. And it's pretty the it's the lowest carb option out there for as far as I'm concerned, as far as <coughs> especially the new version they have. And mm -hmm. then I can divide it so I can make a container and it's nine carbs but i divide it by three because i can put it in three different containers mm -hmm. and then i can have a, a a little cup of that and it satisfies that ice cream itch and i just ate three total carbs so See, like, 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 mike, really like mike with the scale i would become compulsive with that i would that would be yeah. whether i made it and you see that's that's my trigger yeah okay so like i said if i kill the cravings and i i gotta be honest with you lately we've been marie's been <laughs> Making these cheese chips. <coughs> I think I might be a new story with her though, because she put serrano peppers in the last batch. I needed a fire extinguisher. Oh, right loud. I mean, that's how hot they oh, were. Lord. But but that's that's my go-to stuff, and I'm I'm content with it. And yeah, you know, and I tell people if you don't struggle, if you want to have have it, okay, right. and and it did, but be mind be mindful that it's going to affect you. You know, right. So I mean, if you stray and do it one day, don't let that one day turn into one week or one month or whatever. You know, yeah. there's, you there's gotta no get keto, back on the horse. There's no keto yeah. cop going to come knock on your door and say, "Hey, put that ice cream down." You know? yeah. Exactly. Well, exactly. and again, you got to find your everybody. Like you said, everybody is different. Everybody's got to find their own way. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You know, you're, the way you do things and what you eat is going to be totally different than what I do. Um, yeah. You know, so it, it, if it works for you. Fantastic. 
Yeah. But the but the there idea is there. The idea is that guess what? Yeah. Sugars and yeah. high carbs are not good for anybody. No, no. And, yeah, and that's yeah. basically it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, I know. Like my so, wife's kind of gone from eating the white rice. Now she's eating wild rice, which is quite okay. a bit lower in carb. Yeah, it's it actually is. probably a lot healthier for you. So she's kind yeah. of transitioned into that a little bit. So. Um, the, the, the whole idea of how you feel is as a big to yeah. do with it. It's right. the old tradition. We would get done with a big meal, push back. Oh boy, I'm tired. Let me go sit on a couch and rest a little yeah. bit. Okay. I don't have that no more. I, I really yeah. don't. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. what was the hardest thing about keto for you, Alan? Um, the car, I think, to be honest with you, some of it was the, the keto confusion that I, when I started doing researching on it, because uh -huh. everybody was telling you to do something different, right? So there's so much information on the web and on YouTube, and it's just, there, it, there's so much conflicting information. It was kind of what's right, what's wrong, what direction should oh, I go yeah. in? Um, so it was, it, some of that was just very confusing at first to figure that out and kind of set my direction and what I wanted to achieve and what, how I wanted to do it. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, you know, uh, you know, like I said, uh, and I, and I, I got to admit, I do it too as well um, is um, eating some of the keto snacks and stuff like that and doing reviews on them and stuff. So you look at them and say, Oh, I can have that. And I can have this and some of that stuff, especially when you're, like you said, Tom, when you're first starting out, uh, or Mike, uh, when you're first starting out, stay away from that stuff. Um, yeah. you know, you're, yeah, you're, keep, keep it simple. And, uh, you know, uh, in, in, but, the, in the beginning, yeah. Alan, in the beginning, I had friends that I set them up, showed them what to do, try this, do that first, the whole bit. Three yeah. days into it, the guy sends me a text and says, boy, these fat bombs are good. <laughs> what are you yeah. doing? Not now, yeah. not now. No, not yet. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Get, a, get yeah, at least I, a couple of months but, into it. Yeah, but you watch everything and you kind of, to me, it was very, very confusing. And then you wonder why, then people wonder why they're not successful with this stuff. Um, I did stick kind of with people in sites like the Diet Doctor and stuff like that, um, that were, I'm going to say, I thought that were more reliable or more, more informative. They weren't telling you you had to do this, but they were kind of telling you, and they had some research and some data behind them. Mm -hmm. um, and I like I like him a lot because he he is a cardiologist, okay. Yeah. Uh, Brett Schur, you know, diet doctor, and he has a lot of information. He has a lot of different he people does. on also that will yeah. help you get th get through. Don't do that or try this and maybe don't worry about that. Good information, really. Yeah. Is. yeah, yeah. You know, Thomas the Lowry was another one where he was backing a lot of stuff he says with data, right? So it's it's actual, just not saying that hey, this is what worked for me. It was like, you know, here's some research and some data. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, he's again, he's in a different style. He's he's more of a keto Mediterranean style. Yeah, that's why I switched over to that, too. But, and I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do so, it. So, um, yeah, it's it's kind of but, you know, so you got to kind of find what works for you, though. But it's, just, it's a lot of information to figure out. So um, I, I follow get very, uh, confused. Yeah, I, I, I follow a little bit of Ken Berry. I follow a lot of Eric uh, Westman. OK, yeah. There's a guy who's got yeah. 20 or 30 years of data on yeah. it, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. and how to do it. And, and he's pretty liberal with uh, dirty keto. I was surprised. Yeah, yeah okay. he is. He is. Yeah, you can do dirty keto. Yeah. It's fine. But you got to get to that plateau first. You got to get to that one that one yeah. spot. And I that, that think that's crucial. <clears throat> the thing yeah. with, with Thomas DeLauer, he, he has got a ton of information. But he'll tell you, he, he wants you to do the the grass fed beef, the, you know, all this stuff that is yeah. super expensive. And I tell people, you know, do what you can afford. Yeah. You know, and Especially this day and age. Exactly. Or the help the, the, the cage free, free range chickens, you know, and, yeah. and I'm like, if I can't afford it, I'm, or an eggs and I'm, I'm going yeah. with what I can buy. If I can yeah. afford this, I'll get it. If I can't, I'm going to get this other, you know? Yeah. Alan, what, what would be to, to everybody who, who's watching, what would be your, um, uh, I guess, view on how to do this and how to you know, maintain it and, and keep it going? 
Um, to me is um, for the first, again, like Mike had said kind of a while, when you first start out, keep it really simple, keep it basic. Um, don't add any of the, uh, the snacks, the treats, any of the extra stuff in it. Keep it really simple. Whole foods, you know, um, you know, chicken, beef, pork, whatever it is. Um, you know, for me anyway, the first while when you're first starting out to kind of track some of the macros just to kind of understand where you're at, um, to get used to what a portion size is, what what is what does 20 carbs look like? Um, I would try to, if I had to do it again, I would probably go with just total carbs and right from the get go from the start. And I would have restricted it to 20. So I would strongly recommend that's where people start. It's going to kind of throw you into uh, ketosis the fastest. And I think it's going to give you the most benefit. Um, so really think about that. That will keep you from a lot of the, the keto snacks and stuff as well. Yes. Um, so keep it simple though. Um, again, I, I know everybody tells you to shop the perimeter of the aisles, you know, the meat sections, the vegetables, um, you know, and, and, and kind of base it around those things that your, your uh, dinner time, eat until you're full. Don't eat until you're stuffed. Um, it's and then eat, like it's a key. eat when you're hungry. Right. So, right. Um, and that's really, if you do that, you will be successful. Um, I tell people all the time. If you eat all the broccoli that that uh, are veggies like that, that if you eat it, if you walk away from the table, it was your fault if you were if you were still hungry because yeah. I'm telling you that you can have so much of that and it does not add up much at all in either calories or carbs if you do calories. Yeah. You're, yeah. you can fill yourself up in a hurry, and and I, yeah. I you know I if I can I get fresh vegetables. But they're sometimes they're way more expensive. So yeah. and and I don't I can't afford for them to go bad. So I'll buy the frozen. And and there's only been a few things that I can't do with the frozen vegetables that, that taste good. And that's like asparagus is not good frozen. <clears throat> yeah. And neither is Brussels sprouts. Yeah. It, both of those just don't they don't transfer to it. But if like with the greens, if I've got uh collard greens or turnip greens or uh, spinach, hey, that that works perfect frozen because it's it, you get the fresh and it's going to shrink it all down and you're going to be yeah. next, left with next to nothing. Well, I can buy that bag of frozen spinach. It's already down. You know, it's down to where it's going to be. You're not going to lose anything on the shrinkage. You know what you don't have to worry about. Did I cook enough? Did I did enough? What you see yeah. is what you get. Yeah. And it's the same thing. It's nothing different. It's just the vegetable. Yeah. And, that, and that's true. And I think a lot of times we used to put that starchy, starchy vegetable on the, or starchy food on the plate. Mm -hmm. And then you would eat until you were to the point where you couldn't eat anymore. You would have to go and, you know, yeah, <laughs> throw yeah. up or say <laughs> to say it, but because you were, or you're so stuffed, you know, you, you just eat, and, you know loaded yeah. potatoes and the uh right the mac and cheese and you know that kind of stuff and um so that's the hurtful the hurtful part one, of it one last <laughs> question here before we do it we're coming up on an hour here and we're going to try and keep it to an hour here um when you what what is it about keto that you like the most what what if you had to say um i guess my favorite me, thing uh, about yeah, it. I like the way it makes me feel. It makes me feel okay, good, right? I mean, yep. I like I say, you know, being an, uh, an older person, I have a uh, the, the the arthritis in my fingers. Mm -hmm. I, I used to have a really sore shoulder that I couldn't lay on that side and sleep anymore, and and I don't have any of that anymore. My knees don't bother me anymore. Um, so just just the feeling of it, um, and, and I guess the second part of it is it's simple for me anyway. I find it pretty simple to do now there's a lot of influences around it, but, but if i just you know it's pretty simple to do i i think it's pretty simple to do and i'm very happy and thrilled with the variety of food that i get i eat a lot of food it is oh, yeah you can eat a lot of food on keto and and yeah. I, you will be satiated i mean what, yeah what 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 i like about the whole thing is okay i like to go into the doctor's office 
and have him sh me show him the paperwork that I they sent me from Quest with my numbers, and we match yeah. what he's got. And it's a great feeling to yeah. see that I got off another medication yesterday. They took me off another medication. Oh, so fantastic! Yeah, so I'm I'm like I'm like euphoric right now. It's like whoa, okay. Just to have him say, "Continue what you're doing. You're doing great." See you in six months. Yep. Yeah. That's what you want to hear. Yeah. I'm 68 years old to hear that. Holy crap. It's yeah. working. It really does. No matter how yeah. you do it, you got to be yeah. mindful of what you're doing. And, and, and there it goes. Yeah. I got to I tell mean, you something. I got I to tell because of this keto. Okay. I met a lot of great people, a lot of great friends. Alan, yeah. I, I, yeah. I consider you a friend, same as I do with uh, uh, my chaffle maker over here. Uh, <laughs> just Jason, uh, everybody that I come in contact, you're great people. And it's a yeah. great community. So if you feel that you're getting into keto, there's a lot of people out there to hook up with, talk yeah, to, yeah. and watch. And, and yeah. it's all great stuff. And I'm, I'm proud to know you guys. I really am. Same yeah. here. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. Hey, Alan, great Alan, Alan for me. I've, I've said it before. You and uh, uh, a couple of others, y'all y'all are the reason that I got off the fence. I was always on the fence about doing videos. Yeah. But you 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 basically said go make them do it why not yeah. you know, and, yeah. and yeah. I got you you got me off the fence and got me doing them yeah, yeah. hey I'm if you help one person for me as far as I'm concerned if I help one person um the channel did what I was supposed to do yeah. because That's the channel it. is about is about helping people right trying to get people yeah and it always amazed me is people would rather take their medication and be sick versus yeah. getting healthy yeah. but <laughs> better live, uh, yeah, you you gonna follow the philosophy of better living through chemistry, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and side effects. Yeah, yeah. Side effects. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it is what it is. So, yeah. this has been a lot of fun, and thank yes. you, Alan, yeah. for coming on. We we're just over an hour here, a couple of minutes over. All right. Uh, and we've all got things that we're doing later on, so we're gonna keep it at that hour mark as close as possible. Thank you right. again for coming on. Uh, right. This will go well, up. I'd like to YouTube. reciprocate and have you guys come on my channel sometime. I would love and, uh, it. I would love it to. Would be we're, great... we're going live later today, right? Yeah, I go live a little bit later today. Uh, just Jason from just, just Jason's Keto's coming on today. Uh, well, of course, I'm not sure when you're. Um, but, well, this, uh, this will be up on Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Wednesday. Yeah, so Wednesday at six o'clock uh, yeah. Eastern time, it'll come up. It'll yeah. it'll pre then, then, so I'm trying to do it two or three times a month. Have folks come on. Just because I, I think it's great to hear other people's stories, and I think yeah. it's inspiring for people to connect. Exactly, that's what we're doing um, too. We're so. we're we got it going with more than just keto too, but we're trying to focus on keto as much as possible. We're yeah, we're, like the folks in the barbecue industry, get them on because there yeah. are so many similarities or so many crossovers in barbecue and keto that it's unreal. Yeah, yeah. we're trying to go over and check out. Have you have you guys checked out Carnivore Kip's uh, barbecue and cast iron yet? I think I seen I seen I a couple. Seen that. I got I think a, I seen a couple. little boy from down Alabama, Southern Alabama. So. Oh, yeah. well, hey, I can, I I'll probably understand every word he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good though. He just started out and he's been pretty successful. Yeah. But it, it, it's all great stuff, no matter how you get it up. So. Yeah, yeah. There's there's a lot of great people out there. So, all right, Mike. Well, thank you, Alan. Thank you, Tom. Alan, and thank folks, you so much. Thank you. And, and Alan, it'll be. Uh, It'll air Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, whatever that is, whatever date that is, I don't know, uh, yeah. at 6 p.m. Eastern time, which I know you'll be at work. And so, but, yeah. uh, but I know sometimes you're able to come in and, and get in the chat. So yeah. Hopefully yeah, usually we're a shift change right at 3 o'clock. So usually when second shift comes in, then I usually have a meeting right after that that I have to go yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> My last meeting of the day. No, right, everybody, four, four, everybody, three. check out Alan's awesome keto world. Yes, yes, go and check it like, out. Subscribe, great stuff. Good yep. guy. Thank you, man. All right, all right. All thank right. you. You guys have a great day. Okay. You too. Bye bye.